paths are blocked. <clears throat> Bunch of alders across the road. I am going to have to go get the chainsaw. Cut them off, drag them out. <laughs> Dang. So we easily got a foot of snow. <clears throat> All those trees bent over the road. I'm out of breath. I have such a hard time catching my breath anymore. Anyway, not complaining, just how life is. Um, but I'm gonna get on the tractor tonight and see how much of this I can get cleared so I can get the truck up here without doing too much damage. <clears throat> and then I gotta get over and get Marissa's driveway done also. So, it is fun. Living in Alaska. We get used to this, just how it is. It might be pretty, but sometimes it's a, a little bit of a pain in the rear end. Especially when uh, <clears throat> flower trucks are so busy with the main roads, they won't hit my road for probably two or three more days. <clears throat> Neighbor was just stuck in the ditch. Uh, another neighbor came down with his backhoe to help get him out. And uh, then <clears throat> he was trying to avoid some of the alders and uh, kind of got over just a little bit too far. And once you get over too far, it sucks you right in. And so, but luckily there's a couple backhoes that live on this street, so. That neighbor came and helped him out. No way my truck could be able to pull him out as deep as he was and as bad as this is and as bad as the roads are. <clears throat> so, got him out, got the alders cleared out of the way so we can just drive right down the center of the road now again. There's only about four houses on this road, so usually not a whole lot of tra across traffic, you know, not, you don't really meet anybody on the road when you're driving on it. So that, that makes it a little bit easier to drive right down the center. And I'd like to, I'd like to be able to film a little bit of uh, using the tractor on the snow, but it's already getting dark. And uh, it's like a little bit after five now. Uh, I'll be at this probably till about eight, maybe nine o'clock tonight. As much snow as we got, so. I ain't got time to mess with the camera. I'm sorry about that, um, but I do plan on uh, getting it. But it's gonna have to be on a Saturday where I can take some time setting up the camera and, and keeping track of it so I don't run it over with the tractor. That would not be good. There we go. I got my driveway done. It's almost seven o'clock, so not as bad as I thought it would be. But we got about 13 inches of snow today. <clears throat> and, but I got my driveway all done. What a night. Coming home, those alders were in the way. And then so I came up, I was close enough to the house I could walk. Uh, came up, got my saw started cutting the alders out and then the neighbor comes through you know and uh, he helps clear those alders out of the way and then <clears throat> up oh, here he comes tootling through anyway <laughs> so he comes helps clean it out 
clean the alders out and then he gets over just a little bit because there's still some alders that we had to clean out a little bit farther down the road but they weren't as bad and me and marissa were able to just drive underneath them evidently he didn't want to drive underneath them he tried to drive around them and he got just a little bit too far over got stuck and and that i already kind of explained that and then we get up and i get the tractor started and start doing the snow i haven't even had dinner yet seven o'clock i usually have dinner about 5 30 because i get home usually about three and stuff but so i'm hungry but we got this driveway and marissa's driveway done they're about they're not perfect there's still a little bit of stuff that's but you know i'm gonna call that good for tonight marissa's driveway is just about the same for how nice it looks. And for me, this looks a heck of a lot nicer than shoveling. That tractor does a good job. I'm so glad I have it, because there's no way I would have shoveled all of this tonight. No way. Especially since I, can't, I have a hard time catching my breath after any strenuous work. <clears throat> So, but that being said, that's where I'm going to end this video. I just want to thank you for watching this edition of Not So Remote Alaska. And until next time, may God bless and keep each and every one of you. And with that, I am out.